Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's video. Um, I know that I had said that I wasn't going to get the KVD Good Apple because I really didn't want to spend the money on it, um, but I was lucky enough to actually be given a KVD Good Apple. Um, so thank you to Kat Von D Beauty and to Influencer for this lovely little surprise. I'm super excited about it. Um, I don't know if my color match is gonna be right. Um, so I do have some mixing pigments just in case I need to adjust the tone a little bit. Um, but the color that I was sent is light um, 021. So light 21 is the color that I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, basically give you some first impressions. We're gonna test it out and kind of just see where this takes us. Um, so like I said, super excited. I was not expecting to get this product to try it out at all. So the fact that I was gifted it in the mail was a very pleasant surprise and super excited about. Um, obviously I was gifted this, so this is like a sponsored video, um, but I am still gonna give you guys my complete honest feedback. Um, so don't worry about that at all. Like I'm gonna be very straightforward. Sorry, I am extremely shiny today and it is bothering me. So we'll see how this goes with the KVD because apparently it is very oil based. Um, so I don't know how it's gonna go with my skin. I do wanna say however, that when they sent this over, they did send me like a little bit of an instruction um, with basically tips on how to apply for dry skin versus oily skin. So obviously I will be using the oily skin um, suggestions, which are basically what I already do, you know, prime, set with powder, make sure that you're really mattifying as much as possible. So that is what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, but we'll just see how this looks, coverage, kind of color, how it feels. The other thing, the other thing I wanted to know is that they also noted um, if you want a more natural finish to use like a sponge, beauty blender, or maybe like a fluffier foundation brush um, versus for full coverage using a dense brush. I, if you guys haven't noticed, absolutely love <laughs> <laughs> absolutely love full coverage so I'm gonna be going in with a very dense brush uh, but just to start I am gonna go ahead and just kind of swatch a little bit on my face to see how the color matches before I go in all the way uh, while I'm doing this I also wanted to mention um, and if you guys already saw this online you probably know um, but I learned that wow it is very creamy I did not need to swipe my brush twice but I did um, that they are compact has no mirrors, no metals, no nothing. So once you're done with the product, you can basically recycle it with no kind of harm to the environment, which I absolutely love. Um, obviously, it's not a very common thing with makeup products um, nowadays, but obviously we also wanna care about this planet. Um, so just wanted to point that out. Okay, so let's go here. Yeah, that is a little yellow for me, but holy moly, man, that's a lot of coverage. I do think that this is going to be okay though. I don't think I need to mix anything in. Yeah, that's going to be okay for me. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take my dense brush and we're just going to go in and I'm going to be very careful now because as you can see, that was one little swipe. And honestly, if I want to blend this out, this will probably cover my entire cheek right now. So let's just do that before I even grab more product. <laughs> Almost half of it. That's crazy. Okay, well, I do love that. So we'll start there. Kind of dip this in and we're gonna see where this takes me. Wow, even that little dip, man. Okay. A little really does go a long way with this, my friends. You know what's really funny is when I first looked at this in the box when it came in, I was thinking it was going to be a little bit too warm, too kind of orangey for me. Um, but I mean, looking at the difference, it actually feels like it's almost too light, which is the opposite problem that I thought I was going to have, but still not quite a good color match. Um, so I can still warm that up with bronzer when I finish my entire face look. Um, and maybe it'll oxidize on the skin, so we'll kind of see how this wears on its own. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I was not expecting that. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, the coverage is phenomenal. 
Um, you, I don't even see any peek through of my freckles in the areas where I want full coverage. I mean, my nose I didn't really get in on. I probably can if I want to, but um, I mean, if you're looking at it, the sponged areas that I'm hitting right now, I'm letting those peek through, but everywhere else, I mean, the coverage is pretty darn great. What I'm gonna do after that, I'm actually gonna do my full face, come back, give some feedback, um, so I'm gonna record my eye look separately. Uh, and then um, I'll probably check back in. I'm not gonna do like an actual weird test, but I'll probably check in maybe three, four hours in just to kind of see how it's holding up. Because again, I know that it is not known to be the greatest for oily skin. Um, I kind of did this off camera so you guys didn't see it, but I did prime my face and set my primer with a little bit of setting powder really lightly um, before I put the foundation on. Um, and what I'm gonna do is not conceal my face because I wanna see exactly how the foundation holds up on its own. Um, so I'm just gonna set with powder, do a little bronzer, blush, highlight, do my eyes, and I'll be back. So see you in a bit. So my full face is on now. Um, it probably took about 45 minutes to get everything on, um, but the foundation is still holding up really well. I will say the um, oiliness of it isn't really coming through yet, so I'll probably check back in in a couple of hours just to see what that looks like then. Um, but so far the coverage is really holding up and it is not sliding, shifting, moving, especially on my nose, which is where it normally would. So you guys can kind of see that a little bit up close. Um, so, so far I love it. Great coverage, great consistency. It did mattify right after I basically put it on. So it doesn't stay a creamy consistency for very long at all. Um, and so I went in, as I said, and mattified with setting powder and setting spray and then my entire rest of my face. So. So we'll see how this holds up in another two to three hours. Otherwise, so far so good. I'm really into it. Um, I'm just kind of worried again because I have oilier skin. And of course, we all hopefully know that the product is a lot more oil based. So we'll see how that fares. Um, so yeah, it is super um, full coverage, which I absolutely love. Um, it's not cakey at all. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just, it has a very natural kind of finish and sheen on the skin. It doesn't have any buildup. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. So it's a really lightweight foundation, even though of course it has a super full coverage. So I absolutely love that. Um, as a reminder, the compact and everything in it is fully recyclable too. So that I love, because of course we're taking care of our planet. Um, but last but not least, I wanted to mention that it also has apple extract in the actual formula itself. So it actually kind of nourishes your skin, takes care of your skin at the same time throughout the day, which is obviously a trait that we love in our makeup products because we know that they all absorb into our skin. So wanted to add that in there, make sure you guys were all aware, um, but check it out. Um, and again, I will be tuning back in shortly to let you know how this holds up over the next couple of hours. Okay, so I am back. It has been just under two and a half hours. Um, so right in that in between, between two and three, like I kind of said. Um, but I am starting to see now, <laughs> I'm sure you guys can too, what everybody meant about the um, oily nature of this foundation. I mean, you shouldn't see, you can see all of the shine like through my entire forehead, my nose, cheeks, everywhere. Um, so all the high points are really Basically the entire T-zone is peeking through entirely. I mean, I'm going to just do this for the sake of doing this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of oil and you can see it kind of wiping right off. And when I rub, you can see the products picking up. So I'm not in love with that. Um, definitely probably a better product in general for drier skin. Um, but as you can see, if I didn't touch it, it still looks okay. It just has that really dewy look. If, so if you like a really dewy look, then you're obviously good with this foundation in general. As we said earlier, the coverage is amazing um, and it is super lightweight. So I barely even feel it at all. Uh, but again, the oil is not a good sign. Um, and of course, trying to pat it off and rub it off is picking up the product. So some downsides there. Um, but as I said, I just want to do that really quick check in just after about two, three hours. Um, if you guys have any other questions about this foundation, let me know. Or if you've tried it and you have really oily skin and have a different trick on how to get it to last longer or not let the oil peek through, let me know as well. Um, otherwise, thank you all for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys next time.